Hey YouTube Sweet Knives here. Thanks for checking out the channel. We are approaching 5,000 subscribers. So in the distant future, people will look back and be like, 5,000 subscribers? Are you kidding me? Um, and uh, what else am I going to tell you? This is uh, a knife made by Artesian. Artisan, I think they call it. I don't know why I keep saying Artesian. Artisan Knives and their subsidiary company, CJRB. Um, these are more of your budget brand knives. This was sent to me to review uh, from a viewer, so I'm reviewing it. And with no further view, it's actually called the Silex uh, Fixed. And I'm about to show you exactly what it is right here. That's it. Pretty cool uh, knife, huh? I think it's a nice looking knife. Fixed blade, um, feels really good in the hand, generally uh, generally really good. Um, what else can I tell you about this? So like I said, I'm trying to keep things short and sweet. We don't need to have these 20 minute reviews on this and that and blah, 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 blah. All I wanna do is tell you what I like, what I don't like and make it short, simple and sweet. So what do I like about this? I like the fit and finish. So this is a really nice G10, and it's smooth. I like the rivets here. I like the way they put this hardware together. It, it actually feels really good in the hand. I like that. Another thing I like, I'm zoom back out here for a second. I like this sheath. Um, this is a classic Kydex sheath, and it's got a little hole there. Um, I like this sheath. These are good because they don't dull the blade. A lot of people don't understand that, but Kydex does not dull your blades. Plastic will, and other materials will. Leather, leather won't, but a lot of other materials that they use for lower end knives do. And since this is Kydex, your knife's gonna remain sharp for a lot longer. So it's a good sheath. I like the sheath. Uh, what else do I like? I like the geometry on this. It's a really thin, really thin edge here which makes it ultra razor sharp i mean this looks like uh literally like a kitchen knife and that's exactly what half of it can be used for i mean half the time you can be using it to cut up stuff in the kitchen out in the camp wherever you are it would work awesome for being a, a wonderful and it's lightweight it's actually really lightweight so you could use this for um, kitchen prep lots of kitchen prep um Last thing I want to say, the fourth thing I like about it is the handle and the materials. I think that was one of the first things I said, the fit and finish, but I do like this handle a lot. just feels really good. Um, I don't know. I, I, I do like that a lot. It's simple, but it, it's effective. <laughs> it's really effective. Okay, on to the things I don't like. There's only three of them. First one is, I kind of already mentioned, it seems more like a kitchen knife than an outdoors knife. That can be good or bad. So if you're looking for this to be your survival knife, I wouldn't really count on that. But if you're looking for a kind of a secondary knife that you just need to carry with you that you want to do some kitchen prep, it's going to be great for that. Okay, on to the second thing. It's not even about the knife, but it's about the sheath. I don't know why but I'm a 550 paracord fan. I don't know exactly what this is, but I do know it's not 550 paracord. I think it might be one, uh, one, one something, <laughs> 150 maybe paracord, I don't know, but it's not 550. I don't know why that's a little thing. So maybe some people like the thinner cordage. I, I'm just, I like 550, so that's just a, a stupid thing, but I noticed it. And then the last one, I said this on another video. Guys, you guys out there that know this better than me, I'm not a huge fan so far of this steel, um, AR-RPM9. You can see it there. If you know a lot about this steel, I know it's a powdered steel. I know it's proprietary to Artisan, and I know they use it on a lot of their knives, and it's supposed to hold up, and I, I get the marketing stuff, but I haven't really cut a lot of stuff with this yet. And this is since this is a tabletop review, I'm not getting into the knife test right now. But tell me what you think. How does this steel hold up? Verdict's out for me. I, I would love to hear what others have to say. I mean, is this equivalent to like S30V? I don't know. I mean, I just don't know. So uh, I think it's a good steel from everything I've heard and the research I've done, but I have no idea. So 
I would love to hear what others have to say. These are relatively new. It's a relatively newer steel. In fact, I'm guessing a lot of my viewers um, have not, they probably haven't heard of that. So there you have it, guys. That's the CJRB Silex fixed blade. Uh, really nice knife. I do recommend it for what it's for. <laughs> uh, let me know if you got one of these and what you think of it. I uh, would love to hear your, your feedback. Thanks again, guys. And if you like this, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. That helps me a lot. Have a great day. See you next time.